Alright, so imagine this. You're just innocently playing Fortnite on your computer. When your mum comes along and she's like, get off your computer, son. You're a disgrace. Go out and cycle or do something active. So, you know, I go outside and you get on your bike. You're just innocently cycling around like a good little boy back in the 80s. Uh, magpie comes down, swoops you on the head. It's go a little bit crazy because your head's got like a huge hole in it. So, uh, you cycle off really fast. And you're cycling so fast that you can't see where you're going. So, um... You fall off a cliff, and uh, it kind of hurts a bit because you just fell off a cliff. And yeah, so you're dead. And then meanwhile, back at home, your mum comes along, and she's watching the news when this comes up, and she's like, oh my gosh, my son's dead because of me. So she starts crying a lot and walks off, but she's crying so much she doesn't see where she's going. So she walks so much, and then she ends up falling off a cliff. And just like her son, when you fall off a cliff, you generally die. So, you know, she's dead and all. Uh, bad times. So, after this happens, um, the magpie comes along, and if you, he's just flying around like a, like a innocent birdie. So, he decides to fly really far that he ends up to this cliff. He jumps off the cliff for no apparent reason, but he just, he just flies because he's a magpie. And he's not hurt at all because he's, he's a magpie. And he's lucky. But it's all his fault that you and your mum is dead. You see, magpies must be eradicated. I believe that magpies are going to end human civilization. Right, so my idea is I want to create a gun that shoots rice at the ground. Because we all know that birds die when they eat rice. So what I want to do is I want to make rig uh, a gun like a nerf gun to shoot rice instead of bullets so you shoot at everyone and it scatters all over the ground and then an innocent or not innocent magpie comes along and it eats the rice and you know it it can't digest it it gets stuck in its belly and it, it just dies yeah that's my idea and hopefully i don't get caught by rspca and i don't go to jail for the rest of my life <laughs> So you'll need a Nerf gun and a screwdriver and some rice. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter if you use white rice or brown rice. It really just goes to your preference. Um, if you like brown rice, you can pick brown rice. If you like white rice, just pick white rice. I like brown rice because it's definitely more on the healthy side. I mean, it might not be as tasty, but like it's definitely uh, more healthy. So I prefer that just for my, my friendly magpies out there. So once you're done with choosing which rice you want, you can unscrew all the screws and once you're done with that, you pull it apart and some stuff might fall out, just try not to lose anything because most of it you'll still need then find the orange and white part and pull it apart and whilst doing you're doing this, I'd recommend not knocking over your mum's expensive candle I mean, yeah, I definitely didn't knock mine over, I mean, mum if you're watching this, I, I didn't knock it over, trust me like, it, it wasn't me, I didn't knock it over and I realized that when you push it through, it actually makes a really nice sound, but I wouldn't recommend going around doing this because people might think you're really weird. And I actually tried to make one of those a thousand degree knife videos, but like, it really helps if your light actually works. So, it's kind of a shame. I, I thought it would look really cool. So, I went straight to the saw. I know it wasn't listed in materials, but like, I mean, I can't be bothered to go back and change that because... You know, I didn't really think about this, but yeah, just just buy one. And when you're done with this, when you're done like when you're done cutting it, it should be a nice hole in the middle. But you have to make sure that the end is more narrow than the bottom, so that when you push the orange thing through, it doesn't go all the way through, and you don't get shot in the face with an orange uh, spring. So then you want to place it back inside the uh, gun. It should fit snugly inside there. Make sure the it all li lines up. 
all the grooves are lined up with the white parts. And when you're done with this, you have to take this sp spring right here and you line it up against the white part. You have to put, make sure that it, it pushes suspension so that the yellow trigger is always pushing outwards. So what you want to do is put the spring in just as I'm doing it so that the white part is has p pressure against it at all times just like that and when you push it in it comes back out okay when you have that put the other top of the case back in now you can screw it back together And if you did it correctly, it should be able to pull back and stay there. And when you pull the trigger, the spring should spring forward. So I tested it out and it worked, of course. It wasn't the most accurate, but it was definitely enough to get some unsuspecting magpies to the ground. So I tested it on a real magpie and of course, it worked like a charm. Before long, the magpie was on the ground, about to die. Then I actually decided to Google whether buds actually die when they eat rice, and apparently they don't, so I guess I'll just give it to my Asian friend so they can project rice into their mouth. So anyways, thank you for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe for more useless inventions. See ya.